Hey, what's up guys? It's Paul here from Project Titan Gaming, and today I have probably the greatest gameplay I've ever gotten in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So I'm playing on a map, the, the map Horizon, it's just your, your stock standard map. It's not actually one of my favorite maps, like honestly, I never really like loved this map or anything. It's not like this is my favorite map in the game, I go ham on it. I actually do really well on it, but I don't really like the map, honestly. I, I kind of just play it purely for the fact that I do well on it, and no other reason. So, uh, I'm one of those kids that's throwing my Obsidian Steed, Bow 27, um, that just standard grip, silencer, and red dot. I run that on basically all my guns, except for a few. Uh, all the assault rifles, basically, except for maybe, and it kind of switches once you get into other guns that give you the rapid fire and advanced rifling and things like that. So basically, I'm just controlling the B flag of the map, but also running along that left boundary between A and C and also clearing people off those flags. Now, I kind of do perch myself on the top building there by C and B, so I can easily shoot down on people and escape behind the giant barrier there. And also, when I do run to A, I run through that building with multiple escape routes so I could get out of there. And like right here, I'm running up to C, I do actually kind of go through there. But I shoot at those guys, they don't actually see me. I shoot at them through the window there. Get my kill taken, obviously, but just I, I'm picking people off while maneuvering this little route that covers half the map. I never really go too far up the middle. See, I'm already on a 10. This is a pretty good gameplay of mine, actually. And it is pretty long, not because it takes me that long to get a DNA, but because I go on a straight 57 gun streak. No problem. Like, like nothing but gun kills. A and the DNA bomb, obviously. But 57 guns, no, um, no score streaks, nothing like that. Because I just kept going in. Like, I got the DNA pretty quick. I almost got it in one half. I kind of choked it, and it took me a while to get it once the half starts, because I kind of do get a... When I go for DNA... Like, when it happens for me at DNA, that if it doesn't start in the beginning of the game, or, you know, something like that, or just, like... Wait, if it's if there's a half switch in the middle of the DNA, it kind of screws me up, because it takes me out of my rhythm, and I kind of, like, don't expect things. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it kind of does screw me up a lot. So that's why it took me a few minutes at the beginning of the second half to only get those couple kills that normally had the, had the half been a little longer, had I started the streak earlier, I would have um, probably would have cleaned them up a few minutes, or maybe a few seconds, a good 30, 40 seconds early I'd say, because I am getting on a good streak. Now here I actually am going around the opposite side of the map just because they were starting to expect me from that side, so they were, you know, you can't let them know you're there. Because then they'll just start going just for you and start trying to shoot you and not care about how much they die, just straight going for you. So as you can see here, I'm capping A. Now normally I, I actually do cap a lot of positions when I go for DNA bombs purely for the fact that, oh look at this kill right here, this is one of my better kills. I freaking just wrecked that kid, he had no idea what was going to hit him. But I go for the flags not because like, oh I'm such an objective player here, but it's because it gets me so many points and gets you to your next DNA and to your next... Um, in my case, system hack, because I was playing this solo, I wasn't actually playing with anybody, so, um, so yeah, I kind of had to rely on myself for any, um, UAV or system hack that I wanted to get, so basically, if I didn't cap flags, I was gonna have to go for, and then there, I got in a sticky situation right here at 20, these guys are all around me, thank god they suck, and he's using the RW1, or I really would have been in trouble there, but, I kind of get out of there, few cheesy headshots there and barely getting out of there with my system hack 48 seconds left to the half let's see right here I'm, a, I'm about a 22 or so 24 now with that kill on b flag and then so that's the problem here is i still have a good handful of kills left to get i think that's 25 right there with the ace pilot medal um, i'm pretty sure anyway but um yeah so that's kind of what yeah it was 25 but it screws me up because the half switch i still have a good 30 seconds i was trying so hard to get it in one half because like I know it screws me up so much trying to switch between halves and I just never really like doing that I mean there's a risk of me dying too when the initial like run teams running at each other and crap now that was a cheeky kill right there I'm on like 27 right here and I'm pretty sure I, this is it for the half I might shoot a guy at long range ah, I get that guy right there I think I'm on like 28 or 27 still have a full 30 kills to go but yeah guys so there's halftime and I mean I'm going strong right now and the good thing is that the score limit's not going to affect me 
And right now, I was actually had my mic muted. Billy and I were in the same party, but he was playing Destiny, and I wanted to get on some Call of Duty. But I had my mic muted because I had this huge fan running in the background. I didn't want him to have to listen to it. See there, I mute myself again. I'm like, holy crap, I'm like two off of DNA. And he's like, oh, good job. Because, like, DNAs are pretty common for us. I mean, we, we rarely even record them anymore. So, yeah. I mean, it, it got pretty intense, not gonna lie. So, right now, I'm calling in all my crap. And then I just shoot that guy. I'm one off my DNA right now. <laughs> good thing that care packages don't kill you, especially your teammate care packages. Or I would have died right there. So, now I see him with my system hack, but I don't want to run out and get freaking triple teamed. But then at the end, I'm like, ah, screw it, I just want to get this DNA. So I just run out here trying to get at least just one kill, not even thinking about, like, post-DNA or anything like that. So I get to this window and see I'm choking, I'm choking, I'm choking. Ah, oh, hit marker, hit marker, hit marker. Ah, oh, hit marker, hit marker, hit marker. It's just rough. Like, So I'm like, all right, this guy's laying in the corner. Hopefully I can just get him off surprise. I'm like, ah, oh, and then I get him right as soon as he gets to stand up and I call the DNA. Ah, uh, this is where I almost died right there. Thank God he tried to knife me and he was too far away. If he would have kept shooting, I was definitely done there. That would have been the end of that. So the DNA gets called in and I'm on, I believe, um, I think it's like 37 at this point, calling in all my crap. And I'm just like, now at this point, I'm just having fun seeing how far I can take this. And obviously by the title, you guys can tell, 57 is where it ends. I think it's because the game ends actually, not because, um... Not because of me or anything like choking it or like I did in the last episode the 45 gun streak That I did in the DNA bomb that was on like um, Green band that one I did actually die on but this one. I think I just carried out I just keep the right there those guys kept walking out that doorway right there and so yeah, I'm still holding down my strategy of clearing the B flag and running out to the two extreme flags when need be See, now I'm being a little more reckless, as you can tell, just because I already have the DNA, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, this is a great map for me, I think, actually. like, I don't like playing it for some reason. When it comes up, I rarely vote for it. But when I get stuck and, like, if I'm joining mid-game, I'll play it. Or if it, like, loses a vote and it comes up as a random, or it's just, like, it's the other map that I don't vote for, I still play it. I mean, it's just one of those maps where if it's this or Detroit, Detroit. This or Riot, Riot. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it is like a mediocre map, even though I do really well on it. Didn't even see that guy checking the map, uh, not the map, the score, um, scoreboard. So I'm just hopping around these things in the B flag, totally unprotected. I mean, just shooting guys at will. I mean, that's the thing, is so many guys, there were so many opportunities for them to blindside me almost. And I am pretty lucky that they didn't. And one of the best things I like about this is on the left side where you see the, the um, the little cards popping up it just continuously tells what street come on and like it's always so backed up and it's all uh, <laughs> i don't know i just think that's kind of funny when you get on a streak that's plus 30 and it starts telling the whole lobby what streak you're on <sighs> sorry about that young guys it's freaking 12 38 in the morning right now trying to do this commentary before i go to bed real quick so uh yeah i mean i'm just popping system hack uav system hack uav and just keep slaughtering them running the same little route that I keep running with a minute 48 left in the game and the score is not going to matter because I, I guess they're, the flags were so um, were, were left unoccupied I guess for long enough that uh, I mean I guess the score never really got that high so uh, yeah I mean, it's a balanced score too that kind of helps as well that it's not really lopsided either way and so here I'm actually out of ammo so I barely have enough bullets to get both of those guys, and now I'm down to my knife, and I just pick up the ammo. And I could have picked up that guy's ASM one, but it's like, ah, screw it, I'll get enough ammo. Almost died right there, there were a lot of guys coming out of the woodwork at me, and a few grenades also. So I'm down to 30 bullets, ammo is no longer an issue. But I did actually have the exact number of bullets to get those guys. So I just get, get that guy laying down, and I mean, I just keep moving along goal really of mine is to not really stay in one place too much because if you do that then that guy's like oh my god he's killed me out of that building three times holy crap i'm just gonna walk over there and do everything i possibly can to kill him no matter how like how many times i die how far out of the game it takes me and how much it hurts my team i kind of hate when guys do that but i gotta admit every once in a while i'll do it to myself if the guy's camping really hard now i don't try and camp but if I'm holding down a roof and that guy's like, oh, I can't even get near that roof. See, so yeah, ammo was a problem right there, but I picked up. I didn't want to pick up that guy's MK14, so I just got the ammo and kept moving. But, uh, yeah, 
So we're out near the end of the game. I'm trying to scramble and get as many as I can. The cards on the left still say I'm at 50, but I'm well past that. Just because it's so backed up, because everyone else is capping position and calling stuff in. And I'm still getting, you know, all my, all my kills. So yeah guys, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the gameplay. And uh, leave a dislike if you didn't like the gameplay. Comment saying if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys, and have a great day. Get fresh off the ground, get fresh off the ground, nigga, keeping it hot. Get fresh off the ground, get fresh off the ground. Yeah, I'm bouncing the hopper, nigga, you can't stop me.